Hi, I'm Bob Aquatic, and today we're going out fishing on the jetty for whatever wants to. Uh, 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 uh. Link walking with the gulp in my hand. Jiggle, jiggle, I'll do the robin jiggle. I'll do the jiggle, jiggle, I'll do the robin jiggle. Well, nothing but sundials and sea robins. Uh, this is what you get for all of your work today. All right, there's one fishing secret I've been meaning to tell you. Uh, no! No! Mrs. Ladybug, will you help me get a job? The Hoagie Travel Spinning Rod. We're going to do something a little bit different today. I've got a, a brand new rod with me on my travel setup. This is the Hoagie Travel Spinning Rod. I've got a uh, Slammer 4500 on it. I'll get into more of the specifics of the rod once we start fishing, but I'm pretty excited about it. You can put an ounce and a half on it, and it's a four-piece rod, 6.6, six, I believe. And uh, just kind of for the first travel setup that I have found, um, I love my travel rods. First travel setup that I have found that you can fish for striper and stuff and so you can see the sand is moving quite fast. We've got some fast winds here. So here she is. This is the Hoagie travel rod. Four pieces. Got that nice Hoagie sign on it. I'm a huge fan of Hoagie. You've probably seen me use a lot of their products, the swim baits, the epoxy jigs. I'm just a major huge fan of them. And one thing I am a fan of with this rod is that it's only $84 and you might say only $84 that's a good amount of money in comparison to uh, other you know expensive rods and stuff it's a pretty pretty good deal for what you get it's six six you can put an ounce and a half on it we're gonna start off with a one ounce spro bucktail and this is a nuclear chicken grub oh that was a fluke hit dang dude I've only been here this is like my fourth cast Oh, there was a fluke kit right there. Come on, come back for it. Come back for it. Come on. That was definitely not a robin. But yeah, they gave me this nice reading material, which was cool. It's like a really big book. Oh, there we go. That's a fluke. That's a fluke. There we go. Fourth cast. Sick feels pretty good too. This is like a perfect fluke rod. I think that guy chased it for a while because he whacked me and then uh, immediately came back for it. This is pretty good. Not bad. First fluke. I'll tell you what, this is like a perfect fluking rod. Look at this guy. What's up, buddy? What do you think of the Hoagie Travel Rod? Perfect for fluking. And that was only like the fourth cast, man. One thing I am liking about this is that uh, the guides aren't like rotating or anything. Sometimes on two piece setups, the guides will like get on straight and I'm pretty OCD about that. Give me two of them. This, this already have a teaser on there. All you gotta do is get a teaser and change the okay? Dude, thank this you. This already made. How many you know, ounces the thing is I like this? Too, I, like, I like the holograph. That's what makes it triggers it. Especially in the sunny, that shit like shine, bro. Thank you so it's much. Nice, you can have them. Thank you so much. Yeah, you got it, bro. That's so nice of you. No doubt, bro. I feel like this is meant to be. Johnny gave me the spoon. Might as well use it. All right. I think this is meant to be. Johnny gave me this, so. Let's test it out. It's casting fine. It casts like a mile. So my final opinion on this rod, the Hoagie Spinning Travel Rod, is that it's pretty awesome. I've got a really weird, it's kind of like just a personal thing, but I wish the hook keeper was on the left side. All my rods, the hook keeper's on the left side. So whenever I move it over to the right side, it feels a little awkward, but that's really not anything to complain about. Uh, shout out to Johnny for giving me those two ounce spoons. I didn't have anything two ounce with me. I just brought up to an ounce and a half. Kind of an okay day of fishing. I'm still gonna keep fishing. Hopefully I'll get something else, but pretty incredible rod. I mean, like for $84, 
I never had one tip wrap. Uh, I mean, like, it's four pieces, so like, it's kind of inevitable that like one of the the pieces is gonna like twist on you when you cast out. It's a four piece rod, so. I've never had like a multi-piece rod that the guides didn't twist a little on a couple casts and I it was mostly when I was side casting. So like, I don't know. I think the guides are super smooth. I think that the handle is extremely comfortable. I mean, I just jigged for multiple hours and my arm feels fine. So for fluking, I think it's incredible. So two rigs that have been working really well for me for the fluke and just like multi-species for the past few years are the epoxy jig or a heavy minnow, a hoagie heavy minnow with a gulp trailer and also the bucktail with a Gary Yamamoto Sanko trailer on the end. For some reason, I've been doing equally as well with the Gary Yamamoto Senko trailer, both for striped bass, blues, but also mainly for the fluke. It just works very well for the fluke um, and like heavy current when you need a heavy bucktail. Um, but it's been working equally as well as like the gulp mullet or, or the jerk shad. Um, but shout out to Johnny for giving me that spoon because it totally made this video uh, worth posting, and uh, yeah, I got this really nice bluefish on the spoon, and I was pretty psyched. Jiggle, jiggle, I'll do the robin jiggle. I'll do the jiggle, jiggle, I'll do the robin jiggle.